Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss, well, basically a combination of functions. Uh, and uh, what I mean by this is, let's say you had functions f and g, and you want to basically find out if you added these functions together, well, what's the notation and what does this mean exactly, and also what's the domain. So basically, it's if you, have, if you want to add these up or divide, if you want to add them, divide, let's say divide here, subtract, etc., or multiply, then, uh, well, for addition, this is defined as, the way you would write it is, is f plus g, and then x. So this one's, it's, it's adding functions here. And then this is just defined as now f of x plus g of x here. And now these ones, when you plug in an x, you get a number here. So then this, this plus is adding a number. Now this is only true, yeah, so you're adding numbers here, but this is only true if at, uh, x is defined for, like, in, inside this function, f of x, and g of x, it's defined here, or x is inside the domain of these two functions. So if f of x has, yeah, so if f has the as domain a and g as domain b here, then the only way that this is true for the domain of f plus g of x, yeah, so then the, this, this addition of these functions has to have a domain of, well, a intersect b. This just means and. So then the, this is, so what this means is it's only, defined so this function yeah it's the domain of it is for where the the x is inside both of these domains here so if, for example if you have this is the domain of a this is the domain of b this whole thing you actually put the a up top there so then if this is the domain of a this is the domain of b then the intersect this one is a intersect b here and so then when you add them up it has to be defined for both of them and that's only in in this area here so now once we, yeah, so once we have this one set up, I'll just show you the definition for all the others. Yeah, so here, the al algebra of functions here, this is just the general for the division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. So basically, let f and g be functions with domain a and b, then the functions f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f divided by g are defined. Or defined, this is just the way notation, the notation is. So then the f plus the g of x is one I just went through it, is just f of x plus g of x. These are numbers adding, this is just adding functions. That's just the notation. Then domain is the intersect a and b. And same with f minus g, uh, they have to have this, this the domain that has to be in between both of them. So it has to tr be true for both. And then uh, same for multiplication is the same thing. But the only difference now is for division. It's going to be the same thing. This What this means is domain. This is just a bracket. Uh, it's just saying that x has to be an element. It's just an element of. Yeah, element of or inside. So basically, x has to be inside. Uh, this is just going to be uh, the intersection of a and b, or has to include both of them, except. So this one is just usually uh, except. Yeah, this is just saying except g of x can't equal to 0 here because you're going to be dividing by 0 here. So you can't f divided by, yes, yeah, so you can't be dividing by 0 here. So you can't do that because that's not defined. All right, so now let's uh, do an example to illustrate this combination of the functions here. So if you have uh, this example, if f of x equal to square root of x and g of x equal to square root 4 minus x squared, basically find the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of these two functions here. So first thing you got to do is find the domains of each of the functions here. So now the domain of f of x, this one is just basically, well, it is a square root one, so then the inside of it has to be greater than or equal to zero. It can't be negative here, otherwise you're not going to have a, a real number here. So then this is greater than or equal to zero. So you could also write this in the interval fo form, basic closed interval of, of zero, and then it goes to infinity here, open interval. So basically it equals to zero and it never equals to infinity, it just approaches it. That's what this open bracket is. You can see in the video link below, this closed one means it could equal it. So now let's look at the domain of g of x. So now when we look at the yeah, so when we look at the domain of g of x here, we, again, the inside the square root has to be greater than equal to 0 here. So then we're going to have 4 minus x squared greater than equal to 0. If we rearrange this, just let's put the x squared on the right side. So it's going to be 4. Uh, this is going to be greater than x squared here. So we have something like this one here. So now if we take the square root of both sides here, this is just going to be, well, square root. We're going to have 2. Uh, is greater than equal to square root of x squared. And if you see my earlier video, this just means the absolute value of x here because this one is greater than equal to uh, zero here, this x squared. So it can't be uh, negative. 
Yeah, thus we'll just uh, write it as this uh, here. You can see video link below on on uh, uh, properties of absolute values, etc. Et so basically, uh, absolute value of x uh, is going to be less than two. That's our domain. You could also write this as basically closed interval negative two to two here. So it's just defined from in between these two, and it's defined at these points. Okay, so now we have to find the intersection of the domains as uh, the definitions that I showed above here. So then we have to find Basically, if this was written as zero to infinity, open uh, interval there, uh, intersection of negative two to two. So now th the values that uh, are in between these, because if you just look at a number line here, if this is zero, so the first function is defined for like this. This is f of x here. The second function is at negative two to two here. So this is where it's defined. So we have to find where it's defined at both of these areas here. These are both closed circles, meaning you include them. So then basically it's just going to be this region right here, and this region is from 0 to 2 closed intervals here. So then this intersection is just going to be closed interval 0 to closed interval 2 right here. So that's the intersection of A to B if this is A. So if this is A, this is B, this is A intersection B here. Yeah, and before we get to the, these definitions here, yeah, so you could also write this one as basically 0 less than x is, uh, yeah, x is greater than 0 or equal to and less than equal to 2 here. So that's the domain. That's uh, it's going to be for most of these functions, except the last one, which I'll show in a bit. So now when we look at the, just apply the definitions, f plus g of x is one. We're going to have square root of x plus, now this one, square root of 4 minus x squared. And this one is yeah, defined basically from x is less than 2, greater than equal to 0 here. And then this this one just going to be the same thing, but with a negative for the sub subtraction. Just apply the definition, four minus x squared. Again, the domain is just going to be the exact same. And now this one, uh, now yeah, this one just multiplied in. So square root of x four minus x squared. You could simplify this further by putting this inside the bracket. This is just a square root, just or just put the square root outside. So we're going to have square root four x minus x cubed here. And this one's also has the same domain here as uh, defined above. So now this this last one, when we divide it out, so square root of x divided by f square root four minus x squared, and you could also put this in all inside the square root function. So we're gonna have x over four minus x squared. And now this one is gonna be the domain is gonna be uh, this from zero to uh, to two, but this one is gonna be open interval, or you could write it as yeah as zero to two open interval. That's because f i mean yeah I, I mean g of 2 if once you plug in if you plug in 2 there you're going to have square root 4 minus well 2 squared equals to 0 here this is going to be 4 minus 4 0 so you can't have 0 at the bottom here cuz g of x can't equal to 0 when you divide it otherwise you're going to have an f divided by 0 here so th this one you can't do that so that's why you have this this uh, sign right here and that's why it's open interval not closed like these ones here so now if you want to graph them, you could uh, basically graph the, the above functions using graphical addition. So what I mean by that is, well actually, yeah, I mean just, just the addition part. So you can graph this addition one basically by graphical addition by looking at this. If you have a function like f of x here, g of x here, then addition is just going to be, well, these added together. Because this, this right here is going to be g, let's say if this is an a, this is going to be g of a. And then this, this length right here is going to be f of a here. And this is just the addition of both of these right here. Just going to be f of a plus g of a. So basically, yeah, you can just graph it like this. So yeah, if you were to graph it, uh, yeah, so with, the, with our functions here, this one is just square root of 4 minus x squared. And this other one's going to be square root of x. And when you add these up here, we're going to have square root 4. Yeah, just add them up right here, plus square root of x. So as you can see right here, so then uh, it's, it's only going to be defined from actually from 0 to 2 here. So then it's just going to be up to here. That's why it's only from here to here. So then at this this point right here, it's at uh, f of x is 0. g of x is going to be 2 here. Because this one's just a semicircle. This one just uh, looks like that. So as you can see right here, yeah, so, so yeah, it looks something like this right here. Let me just see. So yeah, so then this one is this value here. And at this value is where g of x is 0, this one is whatever this one is, square root of 2. And then as you can see, all you're doing is just adding up. And the highest point should be, well, wherever the, this should be, right here, somewhere like that. So, yeah, so yeah, that's just basically you could add them up like that graphically. 
Well, that's uh, all for today. Yeah, that's all for today. And actually, I, I just copied and pasted uh, that graph into here so you can see how it looks like. So, you remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below and you can see this and, and see my notes, etc. Well, uh, that's all for today. If we learned about uh, com combining functions and all, that's all for today. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.